Hey, Living Hope Church family, this Sunday, our worship service is going to be at 10 a.m. We are moving that over the summer from our 1030 to 10 a.m. We also have an opportunity, and I invite you and plead with you to come to our 930 prayer meeting in the fireside room. So join us to be able to pray before our worship service throughout this whole summer. So our worship service this Sunday is at 10 a.m. and throughout the summer. We also have a congregational meeting coming up on June 5th. That's going to follow our worship service. So make sure you're part of that. That's our annual meeting. We have a great opportunity to hear reports, to welcome in members and, and affirm elders and look at our budget together and grab on to the great stewardship opportunity we have as a church. As we go into this summer, we also are looking towards our prayer challenge. Often we have a, a prayer project that we've done over the summer. We've prayed on every street in Wilmer and surrounding towns. We prayed for every country of the world last summer. And then this summer, we're going to choose to pray for one person in our life that God would reach into their heart and bring them unto himself, unto salvation. So we're going to pray for one. But that, that's coming near the end of June. But what we're going to do is in June... We're going to walk through a Gospel in the Neighborhood series. We're going to talk about what is the Gospel. What does it mean to embrace our mission to be messengers of the Gospel to our neighborhoods? And at the end of this little sermon series we'll do here in June, we're going to prayerfully consider who are we going to pray that God would save, redeem, that He would pour His love into their hearts, giving them a heart of flesh taking their heart of stone. So would you would you get excited for that as we explore what God has for us this summer in that prayer challenge? We also have our global workers that will be coming and going this summer, those who will be visiting. So if you see a global worker coming on a Sunday or throughout the week, would you please welcome them, encourage them, continue to pray for them, and ask how you can come alongside them. One little tip and for our global workers is they also love to hear how you are doing. So if you see them, feel free to ask how they're doing and pray for them, but also ask them if they would pray for you and come alongside you in certain ways because they're looking for community as well. It's not just a one-way street. As we all know, relationships are two-way. So I encourage you as you see a global worker to pray for them and also ask them to pray for you and come alongside you as best they can and as the best you can for them as well. Church, I'm so excited what God has planned this summer. I pray that you have a great Memorial Day weekend, and we'll see you this Sunday.